everyone and welcome to today's video where I will show you what the new and exciting features are for the tablet view and quality in V16. So I will first dive into the features for the tablet view and next we will move on to quality. And I will first uh, talk about them briefly and then show you actually how it looks like in the DB. Now, what do we have for you um, in regards to the tablet view refab? There's actually a couple of uh, features, first being the fact that now your employees will be able to log in when needing to perform a particular operation and work on a work order. Next, there is also a whole new way of displaying the different instructions and steps for uh, operations. And considering that your employees can now log in, we will be able to generate reports on the time spent of these employees for different um, work orders. Next, your employees will be able to now directly from the work floor log um, improvements for the worksheet. So they will be able to suggest um, to make your manufacturing process more efficient directly from the work floor. And we have a few um, UI improvements as well that I will be showing you. First things first, the and the login for your employees. This will uh, you will be able to set directly on your work center, so you will have the flexibility to define on which work centers you actually want to use this feature. So if you don't want to, you can just continue working as you used to before. However, now you do have that option to uh, ask your employees to log in and be able to try to trace actually the time spent per employee. So here on your work center directly, you, you can now uh, check this uh, box. And next you have the option to choose. Either you want all the employees to be able to log in. In that case, you don't specify any allowed employees or you actually have the um, ability to restrict logins by saying that only particular employees can log in for work orders at this particular work center. In that case, you can set these employees here. Now, another interesting uh, feature is the fact that you can define pin codes for your employees. So not only uh, can they choose themselves to log in, but they also have to set a pin, uh, they have to enter a pin code. And then it would look uh, something like this. So uh, here you have an overview of the employees and then the he or she has to select uh, their name. And then if the login is password protected, the password needs to be input. Okay, now when they actually log in, they will have this new tablet view where all the, op uh, the different instructions for uh, particular operations are now beautifully displayed here on the left side. So you no longer have to click away uh, and move on to the next uh, step of your work order. Now all the steps are beautifully displayed here and you can easily navigate from one step to the other. So I'm sure this will be much easier to use for the employees. More so, um, we have this beautiful reporting per employee considering that now we can trace which employee was logged in for how long and so forth. But once they are actually uh, working on the work orders, your employees are the ones who have a good overview of how um, your process is going. Do we have a, an efficient way of producing our goods or not? Should we make maybe some improvements in the way we are handling our work orders? And now they will be able to log this information directly from their tablets. So they will be able to say, maybe we want to delete a particular step because it's not efficient, or we would like to add an additional step. They can update instructions, they can set a new picture. So all this information that they log uh, from the quality, uh, from the tablet view will directly be logged in our PLM uh, application. So actually, let's take a look. Well, before we do that, there's also uh, this improved view right here for when you are in the work order um, overview and you are in your list view, you will now be able to also see the lot numbers for the different uh, work orders of if it's already set for the finished goods. So a small improvement for the usability right there. 
Okay, so let's take a look how this actually looks in our database. If we go to manufacturing and we go to our work centers, we see that we have two. And for our workstation, we want our employees to log in. But we don't specify which employees exactly are allowed to log in. So any employee that you have will be able to log in. For the oven, however, for the oven, however, we have uh, also the requirement to log in. However, only Crystal is allowed to navigate the uh, operations on the work center oven. So we have set her as the allowed employee. So besides that, we also have two operations. And for one of them, we have instructions. We want to measure the cacao powder and we want to combine products. Now we have a manufacturing order already with our work orders. So if we go here, we see that we have different work orders. And if we were to assign a lot serial number for our finished product already, if we go back here, we see that we have now this additional field with lots and serial numbers. So you already know if for your finished product, a lot or serial number has been assigned, it will appear here. By default, this field is not appearing. So by default, this would be your view. But if you would like to see the lots and serial numbers, you can just activate the field right here. So if we would actually go to our first operation, we see that we have a login. And since we didn't specify particularly particular employees that can log in, both of my employees can log in. Now, if we would go to the second operation type, which is performed at my oven, and we try to log in, we see that only Christelle is allowed to log in. Okay, now let's go back to our actual first work order and Christelle wants to log in. So we see here, Christelle is logged in and this is our new view of the tablet. So since we have different steps that need to be performed for our operation, now they beautifully appear all on the left side. So you no longer have to click away every single step and you kind of now have a perfect overview of all the different steps in case you have them and you have an uh, overview of everything that needs to be done in order to finish your work order. And you can very easily navigate between the different steps. Now, as I said, we have now the ability to allow our employees to directly log feedback from the production floor. So let's say I would actually like to add an additional step. So I can now just suggest um, add another step. And here I would like to say that um, so the title would actually be quality of components. Uh, and I think it would be important to check the quality of all the picked components. And if we want, we can add a file and when we and we propose a change. Okay, so we see now that this uh, step has already been suggested. So if we go back, what happens in the back end? If we go to PLM, we see that now we have a separate uh, action here, which is BOM updates. And if we click on it, all the suggested feedbacks that are coming directly from the tablet view will be logged here. And we see that we have a new one right here. And we see that uh, a suggestion has been made uh, to add an, an instruction uh, right here. Okay, so if we want to, we can um, directly process this request and we see that uh, here another step has been added directly. So we have three. So if we were to actually proceed with our improvement and change of BOM, your old uh, bill of material will be archived and the new one with the suggested change will be activated. Um, so that is for our uh, changes in the tablet view. Now, what is new in quality? In quality, I would actually like to 
put the two different uh, versions aside to explain what actually has changed. So in version 16, we now have a quality check per operation. And we know that it can be a little bit confusing because this actually means something different than in version 15. Now, if we remember in version 15, we have two options for a quality check, one per operation and one per product. When you select a quality check per operation, it means that for the transfer that you are processing, for every single product in that transfer, you would need a quality check. So if you have three different products that need to be checked, you will have three quality checks that need to be logged. Now, the quality check per product was for the products that are being traced by lots or serial numbers. And for every lots or serial number, you would have a separate quality check. So that is what we had in version 15. In version 16, however, we now have this uh, nice option of actually saying that we want to have only one quality check for the whole transfer, be it a picking, be it a receipt, a delivery. So for the actual transfer, so for the operation, be it a receipt again, a transfer, a delivery, you can now, no matter which products are being transferred you only you, you have you can set only one quality check okay so even though it says by operation it means something different than in our previous version okay now next you have the quality check per product and this is actually the same as we had the quality check per operation in v15 so here, if you have a particular transfer and you have different products in the transfer that require quality checks, you will have um, a quality check for every single product in that transfer. Uh, next is the quality check per quantity. And this is the same as we had the quality check uh, here per product in version V15. So for every single lots or serial number of a product, you will have a quality check. So how does this actually look in our database? Let's have a look. So let's say I have here two deliver. Well, I have one receipt. Let's take a look. And here I have a quality check. Well, actually, I can show you first which different quality checks that we have. OK, so we have three here. So we have one here for the operation. And this is the new uh, feature that we have in V16. So for one operation, which is receipt, even though that I need quality checks for these three different products, I can now say that I only want one check for the whole, tr for the whole transfer of my receipt. So let's take a look. In my inventory right here, I have a receipt that I can process. And we see here that I have three different products. And if I do my quality check, I see that I only have one quality check. So for the whole transfer, I require just one general quality check, where in my case, everything is OK, so I can pass my quality check and validate my transfer if I would assign the lots and serial numbers. OK, the next quality check that we have is here by product. OK, so for every single product, I would like to have um, a quality check. And this is for my internal transfers. So if I go here, I see that I have an internal transfer right here. I check my av availability and I see that I have three quality checks for every single product. Okay. And the third quality check that we have is a quality check by quantity. So I have two products that are traced by uh, lots and serial numbers. And for my deliveries, I have a quality check. So if I would go right here to my deliveries, I see that I have a delivery right here for two of my products. And I see that I have two quality checks for lot, no, uh, lot two of my product B and lot one of my product B. Even though it's the same products, I have two different lots. So I have two different quality checks for every single lot. I also have here 
a delivery for my product that is being traced by serial numbers. Again, I have two different uh, serial numbers and I have two different quality checks because for every single lot or serial number, I will have a separate quality check. So there you go. Again, I know that this can be confusing. So the new feature is the fact that for one transfer, we can set one quality check no matter which products are being uh, transferred. And the quality check for product equals the same as we had in our previous version, which is the quality check per operation. And the quality check per quantity equals the same as we had in the previous version for the quality check per product. Okay. Thank you so much. And I hope that you will enjoy testing out our new feature.